Believe it or not, these students are preparing for the high school proficiency assessment in math by competing in a Survivor-themed competition. If you've never seen the reality show Survivor on television, well, check your local listings. We don't have time to show you here. Suffice it to say that this is about as close to the way it works on the show as you can get in the classroom. All right, first question. Survivor on television is a reality show. About 20 or 30 castaways are shipped out to some exotic location, and they get put into anywhere from two to three to four tribes, and they'll have challenges. Sorry, that's a miss. I'm a huge fan of the show. And there's another teacher here who is also a big fan of the show. And every day, we'd always come in and talk about Survivor. And one day, we were like, we should do that in class. In the beginning of the year, we randomly make tribes. And what happens is every week or so, they come in, and there's some challenge set up. And we're playing Battleship on the floor in one of the games today. And then what happens usually is there'll be a question. And depending on how many you get right, you get to try to attack someone else's ship on the board. And the answer is? Four. Let's start with the red tribe this time. Where do you want to go? F4. 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 Oh, you heard another boat. You can go again. E6. It's a hit. E3. And with that, we took out one of the green team's boats. But as in life and school, the tide can turn suddenly. And by the end of this round, the red tribe had lost, which meant that they had to vote one of their own off the island. Sorry, I have to do this. Even if you voted out, you're still in the game. And then just like in the show, at the end, you vote. And I remind him of that constantly. I'm like, you have to vote someone out. Be careful. At the end, these people are voting for the winner. So the kids are aware of that. And it kind of helps them with their social skills. They're very competitive in nature. And as soon as we found that out, I mean, we just completely took advantage of that. And, and they're having fun in math class. So much fun, they can't stay away. Yadik had already completed the geometry curriculum and had moved on to Algebra 2. But today he's returned to help out and participate. I think it, it could be and it should be applied to other classes. Right now I'm in Algebra 2. Um, we don't have this. It's not as much fun. We're still learning, but it's not as much fun as being in this class. One of the best things about Survivor as it exists on the show that makes it so perfect for education is the rules change on Survivor every day. When you realize the tribes aren't working, maybe there's, you know, it's not collaborating well. You go, oh, random mix up, mixing up the tribes today, and that's not against the rules. There's going to be two questions. You as a tribe have to answer both questions right in order to get the two roles. I find that competition is often the best way to motivate our students. But the nice thing about this is it, it doesn't become, you know, mean-spirited competition. It's always fun. All we need to do is find the height, yeah. and then we'll have it. Does it units work? I see one, two, three, four, eight. Very good. Oh. Yeah. Okay. integrates everything we learn in geometry or any of Ms. Cologne's classes into a fun way so that it makes us look forward to it. And sometimes a lot of kids actually study for this so that we can get the questions right because it's so much fun just to try and beat out other kids in your class. This is all nice and fun, but I mean, it's, it, you're trying to get math done, and this yeah. doesn't do the math part, right? But is this an incentive? To yeah, make it's more you like learn? a motivation, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing the challenges just to learn. So it's a way to motivate every single kid to learn. And I think that's just, that's amazing. I'm voting for Brandon because sometimes he likes to act like he knows what he's doing, but he really doesn't. Couldn't take it anymore. Take it. You can see immediately who the competitive kids are, and you pull them aside and you go, I love the energy, I love the competition, I don't want you to hold it back. You do know that you have to be very nice in this game to win, and in this class to do well. I've had classes that did not function well in other situations that do beautifully in Survivor, so I'm very proud of these students. <laughs>